Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. Today is Thursday, which means I am talking about beauty and such. I'm going to be talking about beauty products today. I guess first I'm going to talk about these two products here. And they're just lip balm, and I'm always trying different lip balms out just to see what's what, what do I like, what don't I like. And these two are by the Yes2 brand. And I have, let me see if I can kind of get them in some sort of order. It's the Yes2 Grapefruit and the Yes2 Coconut <laughs> Lip Balm. And I like these. You know, they're cool. I don't think it's really anything too special about them that I'm like, oh my gosh, they're so amazing. They're um, moisturizing. They feel good on my lips. I don't necessarily feel like they help to repair my lips. Like some lip balms will moisturize, but they also repair your lips and really heal them. And you know, if you have lips that kind of dry out a lot, they can become crusty and peel and things like that. And I don't feel like these really help to repair my lips. But, I mean, they're just kind of lip balm, so. Um, let's see. They're pretty natural. Uh, I think I ripped it off, so I don't even have it on here. But if you buy these on the front of the packaging, it'll tell you, like, the percentage. But when I ripped it off of the plastic, that's what it looks like. The plastic part actually has that on there, like, the percentage of naturalness of the product but they generally tend to be pretty natural in in what they use it says they have aloe in them coconut shea butter obviously this one is grapefruit and that one is coconut they have a scent but they don't really have like a flavor which is good because sometimes you get that stuff that just tastes so yummy and you put it on your lips and it's like oh my gosh you lick your lips and it's like, don't lick your lips, you don't do that. Another thing I will say that I like about this is that the shape of it, it has this oval shape that like just glides kind of with the natural shape of your lips, which is good. So this is the first one that I'm going to talk about, and this is the Burt's Bees Brightening Dark Circle Corrector with Daisy Extract in this. So I'm always looking for things that help to... Did I say dark circle corrector? Do not put this under your eyes. This is a dark spot corrector. <laughs> I'm always looking for dark spot correctors because I do have acne, like I got a little breakout situation going on. What side of my face is it? Is it this side? Or is it this side? No, that's the good side. This is the bad side. So when I have acne, sometimes I don't really try to mess with them too much. But once they dry out, after me like really washing my face every day and just treating them with acne products only the dark spots do tend to appear so I'm always looking for different dark spot correctors and this is just another one that I've tried by Birds Bees and so I'm gonna read this to you really quickly um, you can use it morning and evening after you cleanse and tone your skin it says and it says gently smooth over your face a neck or you can use it as a target treatment so instead of just putting it all over your face ooh, I hope I didn't mess up my lipstick you can just put it specific places where you want to now when I went to first use this I was kind of shocked because when you put it on your hand I expected a cream but this is a liquid so I was like what this is a liquid this is crazy but it is very moisturizing on your skin. So a lot of products sometimes when they're liquefied and not more creamy, you expect them to almost get on your skin and kind of be a little dry. Or maybe not dry, but not really moisturize your skin. And honestly, I've put this on many of nights all by itself without a moisturizer. And it just really feels good on my skin. And it has, I don't know if it's the daisy extract that helps to do that. Mm that probably helps with the dark circle dark why do I keep saying dark circles dark spots but it really does feel great on your skin to be a liquid instead of a cream product it says also on here that 80% of women saw diminished appearance in dark spots I will say that with using this I did see less dark spots I had some dark spots that you know were on my face from acne and I could see them go away. So I was like, it actually does work in my opinion. And it says you should use it for about six weeks 
to actually see results. I will, hold on. This is the packaging. It says after eight weeks of use, you should actually see the the results. But I personally will say that after using this, I saw results of dark spots actually lightening before eight weeks. So I do feel like this is a good product. I was using it consistently every night though. I didn't really use it in the daytime. I would use it every night, but I was using it every day. So consistency is key with anything. If you do want to see results, honestly, if I probably use this every night for eight weeks, I would see even more results. But I just used it at night and I will say that I do like it and it works and it actually feels really good on your skin to be a liquid product. The next thing I want to get into is this eye lifting cream by Derma E. So I'm always looking for different eye creams, mostly for like wrinkles, but I got this and I've been using it under my eyes, you know, under crow's feet, things like that. I'll put a little on top. And what I will say, this is supposed to do, it says firming D-M-A-E. I don't know what those letters stand for. D-M-A-E. D -M -A -E, I don't know. I lift with Insta Lift and Advanced Peptides. Visibly lifts, firms, and tightens, helps smooth crow's feet. And this is cruelty-free, paraben-free, natural, 100% vegan. It all says it all right there. So that's good for anybody who's vegan and looking for a beauty product. Here you go. Cruelty-free, vegan. I mean, can you really go wrong with that? No. Okay, anyway, let's keep it moving. D-May or D-M-A-E, I don't know how that works out as far as the spelling goes, is clinically proven to boost collagen for firmer, more resilient skin and still lift goji berry. Glycopeptides provide lifting and tightening antioxidant power. Hyaluronic acid infuses and surge of cooling moisture to relieve to refresh and revive tired eyes. Okay, so let's get to my opinion on this. I do like this. I do feel as though I don't necessarily have crow's feet. I do have like wrinklage under my eye. So I do feel as though it helped with that. I do like this. It is very creamy and it feels good under my eye. I would use it every night, put it under my eye. Sometimes I would even use it during the day to like put um, under my eye before actually applying my makeup. So I do like this. I do feel like it helped out with my wrinkles lightly, but this is more for like crow's feet and things like that. So. I like it. I would recommend it if you're looking for something that's actually good and healthy and such. Try it out. So those four things I bought with my money. This next thing I'm going to talk about came in, yeah, this came in the Essence Beauty Box from who knows when. I think it was April. I try to use things up really, really good before I talk about them. Like, it's no point in me being like, hey, I got this thing. So what's your point? Uh, <laughs> so I try to use stuff and see if I like it or not. And this is Paula's Choice Resist Vitamin C Spot Treatment. And it says all skin types, 25% vitamin C. What it does is visibly reduce brown spots. So it's another one of those treatments. It says at night use as a last step in your skincare routine. Gently pat, do not rub. On brown spots and wrinkles, do not rinse. For daytime use, follow with SPF 25 or greater. So what I will say about this is that I do feel like it um, helps to reduce brown spots. And I mean, you know, I don't really feel like there was anything too special about it. From using it, I feel like it did reduce my brown spots. I will definitely say you, as it says on here, pat, do not rub. Because one time when I did rub it in, because I was just like trying to, I was tired and I was like, oh, thank God I just even washed my face before I went to bed and scrubbed it. Let me just hurry up. And then my face kind of felt a little bit like, ooh, 
that's not a good sensation. So please do pat this in and not rub it in, as they said. So Paula's Choice Brown Spot Corrector, Brown Spot Treatment, whatever. All these correctors and treatments confuse me. This is a vitamin C spot treatment for brown spots. I like it. I mean, I don't necessarily know if I'd go out and buy it with my money, but it was nice to try out. This next product I also got in another sample box, but I honestly could not tell you from where. But this is the Now Bay, and I believe it's Now, it's N-A-O-B-A-Y, Natural and Organic Mattifying Cream, and it says this oil-free cream was specifically designed for oiliness prone skin does that not sound weird oiliness prone skin whatever contains rice starch for smooth texture and shine free skin results formulated with a combination of natural extracts including fu fucus fucus it rhymes with mucus. It's spelled like mucus. Fucus. I don't know. And ivy, known for their astringent properties as well as al aloe vera. And it says that 98% total ingredients are made from natural origin and 16% of total ingredients are from organic farming. So that's always good stuff. Now, let's get to my thoughts on this. Now Bay Mattifying Cream. I really like this stuff. I really, really, really do. So, I feel like it definitely helps to keep me matte. I have it on today. I've been using it a whole, whole, whole lot to go on with my makeup. I usually don't even, I won't even put like a moisturizer on. I'll just put this on and then my primer and everything else. And I feel like it really helps to absorb my oils and keep the, the oiliness down to a minimum because... I just have trouble with my oily skin and it's one thing to glisten and there's another thing to look like a greasy french fry from a fast food restaurant and nobody wants that especially not me so I really do like this and I like this because it absorbs really quickly into your skin so if you do wear makeup or if you plan on wearing makeup one day you don't want to really put something on your face and then have to give it a few minutes to like really get into your skin before you go on to your next step and this just boom 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 put it on your face and it's like you can move right to the next thing so I really do like it's like I said I have no idea what sample or beauty box situation this came in but this is now bay and I like this a lot and I would definitely buy this for sure so the next thing I bought with my money and it was pretty pricey but I want to try it out just to see if it was any good and I guess this will kind of be a product that YouTube made me buy because you know you watch other people's videos and they talk about stuff and you're like hmm let me see if this works right so this is the pores no more pore refiner by Dr. Brandt so I've seen a couple people use this and this is dirty yes yeah, so if you see any little makeup nastinesses I just use this today so it might be a little dirty. Don't judge me. And if you hear the vacuum going off right now, that's because I don't live alone. <laughs> and I think my mother is probably vacuuming right now while I'm trying to do this video. But ignore that too. If it's not one thing, it's another. But this is the Pores No More by Dr. Brandt. And this minimizes your pores, it says, and absorbs oil and mattifies. So number one on the back of here it says oily slash combination skin and it says use daily as a last step in your pores no more regimen apply under or over makeup throughout the day as needed i try to muffle out as much of the sound as possible of the vacuum so if you still hear it i am sorry with this pores no more i will say that i really do love this as a primer it honestly makes my skin look so smooth and I'm always in awe. Like, I'll put it on one side of my face and then I'll look at the other side that's not primed and I'm like, oh my gosh, it works so well. So I really do like this as a primer. As far as the mattifying, I've used this with other products, like other moisturizers on my face. 
and I don't feel like this is great for me personally to mattify my skin. I feel very oily very quickly. However, ding! When I put these two together, I feel like they're soulmates and they were made to be together because putting this on and then putting this on, this girl is matte. I look fabulous and dewy and glowy, but not greasy. So this definitely helps to make the Dr. Brandt mattify my skin because otherwise, like I said, if I just use this, it really doesn't do too much for me as far as like, oh my gosh, you guys, it mattifies my skin so well. No, it really doesn't. But as far as a primer, yes, yes, yes. I'm talking about blur and pores just being like, I don't even know what that sound was, <laughs> but it was the sound of your pores being smoothed out, or at least my pores being smoothed out when I use this. Sometimes I feel so weird. I really do like this though. I would definitely buy it again. The next product I'm going to talk about also came in the Essence Beauty Box Sampler. And this is a micellar water. And this is called Bioderma. See, it's just this little guy. And I've used quite a bit of that. It's down here, if you can see. There might be a glare from the light. So... Sorry, I hope it looks half decent. But yeah, this is Bioderma. And I talked about two other micellar waters in another video. I might link it. I have no idea. Sometimes I forget to link my videos within my videos. But I will try. It'll be like over here somewhere. You click that eye and you'll have it. But with this, I was kind of shocked because the other two I used were the Garnier and the, what am I trying to think of, Simply. And with this one, it kind of has a scent to it. And I keep trying to pinpoint what the scent exactly smells like to me, but it has a slight scent to it. And it's not like super fragrant. It, it kind of gives me like a really like, I don't even know. It smells like this fragrance that I have, but it smells like a more light, natural, kind of like a cool, I don't know. When you think of like watery, cool, just like scents, like anything that has the word cool in it, I don't know. That's the only way I can really describe it. But it also has like a little bluish tint to it, which the other ones didn't have a tint to it. I'm not sure exactly what gives it that tint, but it does. It works like micellar water. It takes off your makeup. Whoop, there it is. Like, I don't really know what I should say about it. Just because it's like, I don't, I don't know. Micellar water really doesn't, like, make me get all up in arms. Like, oh my gosh, you should just totally go buy it. I do like it. But, yeah, I don't know. It's got a blue tint to it. And then it has a smell. I don't know, to me those were just kind of like turnoffs in a sense because I'm just like, what is it exactly on my face? So I'm going to read this card to you to hopefully give you some information on this whole situation. So this is Bioderma Sabium, Sabium? I hope that's right, H2O. Sabium H2O is the first specific makeup removing micellar water for combination or oily skin, which is a great thing. That mimics the natural composition of the skin for perfect makeup removal and total respect for sensitive skin. So that's what that says about that, which is good. I have oily skin, so it's always good to use products that are beneficial for your skin type. These two are for your hair, and these both also came in the Essence Beauty Box. This first one is the Jane Carter Solutions. This is the Seal and Shine Daily Use Glosser for dry, curly, and natural hair with soy oil and mango butter. And this is a nice little sample situation. So I do like Jane Carter. I've used, I think it's a leave-in conditioner. I think that's what it's called. I can't remember. Buy her before. And that I actually bought. I bought it from Target. And this is a seal and shine. So what I will say about this, this is just like a hair oil to me. I mean, I feel like it only is a glosser. So it really doesn't do anything for me personally for my hair. I have natural, short, 
curly hair going on right now and for me I don't really feel like it brings out the texture of my curls or anything like that so I would just say like if I had straight hair I would use this to like finish my hair and make it beautiful and shiny and glossy it does add shine to your hair but I mean I just have no use for it because I don't have long hair and I mean generally my hair tends to be shiny so I don't need anything to make it shiny like I said if I had straight hair I would use this because when my hair is straight I like it to look more shiny I mean it's cool but it just does nothing for me this last thing is the Earth's Nectar Hair Care Coconut Curls Leave-In Conditioner with Pure Coconut Oil and it's this little little can you hear that it's a little glass bottle so don't drop this on the floor because you will be sad but I will say about this it's got hair and stuff on it I'm sorry y'all don't judge me I actually use this stuff so at least you know so with this I will say that I don't feel as though it brings out the natural texture and curl of my hair whatsoever at all not a bit like I put this in my hair a couple times and I was just like waiting for my beautiful hair to come through but it did not come through it was just like mm, here goes some coconut oil girl I was like oh that's it okay so for curly haired girls for me personally maybe it's just my own personal experience I don't really care for it and then it has this smell to it and I just keep trying to figure out what it smells like but it smells like lemony house cleaner to me when I smell this like when I first used it I was like why does it smell like lemony house cleaner it's just so random like it's a coconut hair care product that smells lemony and then I you know I was just like what that's weird to me Mm, so yeah I mean the products are good in it if you read the ingredients list it starts out with water coconut mm, something I can't see that very well and that's the soy bean and oh that's almond oil whatever <laughs> anyway it says it has a lot of good products in it this little tiny writing I'll try to read to you it says the directions comb through hair root to tip section by section this product does an amazing job stretching natural curls which is always a good thing for curly hair girls because we have so much shrinkage especially me like honestly when I have long hair my hair can be halfway down my back and it curls up to my chin and then when I straighten my hair people are like is that a weave I'm like no this is my hair do you see how like no it's not that thick for it to be a weave it's you know it's nice but it ain't no weave but yeah my hair can be halfway down my back and it curls up to here so dead serious people are always shocked people who know me are always like still shocked and it's just like why like it's called straightening but yeah shrinkage is real with curly hair so you be trying to stretch them curls out stretch them out I don't think I really experienced stretching of my curls and my hair is so short so whatever I don't really care about sh stretching my curls at this point because it's so short okay let's continue reading so it says where did I leave off stretching natural curl okay when twisted or braided well, I can't twist or braid my hair, so there's that. After combining product from root to tip, apply to wet or dry hair, you will instantly love the way your hair feels. It feels good on your hair. I mean, I don't know. I just didn't love it. And it says it helps with stretching if you twist or braid your hair. I mean, I, I really can't do all that with my hair. I could kind of give it a little twist or maybe even a little braid, but that would just still be so crazy. And I don't care about stretching my curls so that they don't look really tight because my hair is so short anyway. It'd be different if my hair were longer. I would probably want to do that. 
Maybe it works, maybe it does not. I personally, you know, think the product is just okay. I don't love it. It's cool, but it just smells like a household cleaner to me, and that's just a turn off. I'm like, er, yeah, let's just stop at the door right there. That's it. I think, yeah, that is everything. That's everything. That is everything that I had to talk about for this beauty segment and chit chat. If you guys like any of these products, and I said maybe they were kind of whatever, maybe I used them wrong so you can completely let me know how you use them and maybe I'll retry them again and give them another once over to really get the most benefits out of them. Overall, I've said pretty much good stuff about most of it, but you know, everybody has their own opinion and experience with things. I just want to share mine with you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.